in the previous videos we discussed how to evaluate the limits by using some standard results uh, say for example here it is we have the standard results limit of sin x by x as x tends to 0 that value is equals to 1 and also we discussed tan theta by theta value that is limit uh, limit of tan theta by theta as theta tends to 0 that value we discussed that is all we can call it a standard result and also we discussed the limit of x to the power n x to the power n minus a to the power n whole divided by x minus a as x tends to a clear in that case the answer is n into a to the power n minus 1 like that standard results we discussed and the very first uh, limit the very first method we discussed that is by using the direct substitution method that all methods we discussed in the previous videos my dear students in today's class what we are going to discuss is evaluation of the limits finding lhl and rhl how to calculate the lhl and rhl that already we discussed in the earlier classes am i clear so in today's class we are going to discuss directly how to calculate the lhl and rhl lhl lhl is nothing but left hand limit and rhl is nothing but right hand limit so what is lhl and rhl my dear students just i'll recall the things so lhl is nothing but limit any function if we have f of x is any function we are checking the point here it is at a point x is equals to a take for example so the lhl means my dear students limit of the function as x tends to a minus x tends to a minus means what here we are giving the values very close to the value here it is very close to the point a but not exactly a and the neighborhood of a we are taking that is from the left side of the function i mean left side of this given point a so clearly you can understand if i consider one real here it is real line say for the example x is equals to a i am taking one point x is equals to a so now lhl means in the function we should give the value here it is left hand left side of this a left side of this a means this is next to here it is before this value clear so this we are taking x is equals to a we are taking very close to the point a here it is but the left side of the given point x is equals to a so therefore that we can call it as a lhl and that is denoted as limit of f of x as x tends to a minus a minus means don't assume that we are giving negative values we are not giving the negative values we are giving the values which is very close to a very close to a left of the a that value we are giving so left of this point we are giving so therefore we are this is just notation a minus is a notation not exactly giving the negative value so this is the lhl my distance like that rhl is also nothing but here it is it is limit of the function f of x as x tends to a plus as x tends to a plus means what we are giving the values here it is x is equals to after the value a after the very close to this a but right side we are giving the value i, I it means x is equals to a is point is here means i am giving the next of this point that is a plus h it may be so very next that is right side of this point we are giving so therefore we will denote it as limit of the function f of x as x tends to a plus so this is all uh, this is all about that is rhl left hand limit and we know that if lhl is equals to rhl it means lhl value and rhl value if you are getting the same value say for example after solving this if you are getting the value as l and here also if you are getting the value as l if lhl is equals to rhl it means both are same then we can say that the function value is limit of the function as x tends to a is equals to limiting value is l we can say and also we can say limit exists so when you say that limit exists we say that limit exists if lhl is equals to rhl then we can say that limit exists otherwise limit does not exist so my dear students in some cases what happens here it is some cases lhl may be different and rhl may be different in that case limit does not exist clear so for that reason 
we discussed the limiting value the first method we discussed that is the direct method direct method means what we are doing uh, to the given function we are giving this x is equal to a value if i substitute this value in the given function if i am getting the sum value constant value if i am getting means then i conclude that that is nothing but uh, the limiting value here it is but uh, in some cases what happens like this in these cases my dear students we cannot give directly x value as 5 direct uh, method we cannot uh, use here why why means the in this given observe the question here this what is here mod x is there mod x means here left hand limit left uh, left side is another one here it means the function gives you two values mod x how will you define the mod x mod x is nothing but my dear students what is the definition mod x is nothing but here it is it is x if x value is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0 it means for the function mod x we have two values two cases we are de uh, defining here it is so therefore in such situations we are going to use we will find out lhl and rhl then we can conclude the limit of the given function am i understood my students i mean is it understood so how to calculate when we should use lhl and rhl we should use we should calculate the lhl and rhl in such situations where we have the two cases so in such cases what we will do my students we will calculate by using this method lhl and rhl we can calculate otherwise we have so many methods to calculate as early only we discussed direct substitution method direct substitution method what we are going to use we will substitute x tends to a whatever value is given to you that value we are going to substitute in the given function if we get some constant number that is our required limit value limit of the given function but in some cases what happens we are after substituting the x tends to value we may get indeterminate form if i get indeterminate form means we have so many results we can apply that one and then we can simplify we can factorize or we can apply the earlier classes whatever we use the methods that we can apply clear so in such cases i didn't calculate this lhl and rhl simply i calculated by using those methods but now in example i am using lhl and rhl why means why means because in this function we have two cases the we may get different values so therefore i am using or else simply you can observe mod x means we have the two cases that is x is here this mod x function is equals to x zero and minus x if x is less than zero it means we have different cases which it may arise so the we should not confuse with that so for that reason what we will do we will directly calculate lhl and rhl then we will evaluate the limiting value clear and now we will calculate my students so how to calculate here it is so please observe this question to calculate this one given function here it is given so what is given to you here it is the given is limit of mod x minus 5 as x tends to 5 so now i will calculate the lhl part so how to write the lhl part lhl is already i told you that limit of mod x minus 5 as x tends to 5 minus 5 minus means what my dear students in this given function we should substitute the value x value we should substitute which is uh, here it is i'll take exa, real line only so that you can easily understand this is 0 somewhere it is 5 so here 5 u minus means what my dear students 5 u minus means see here it is the function is uh, here it is x tends to 5 u minus means i am giving something 4.999 i'll give 4.99999 the that point i may give my dear students very close to 5 but left hand side so therefore i denoted lhl or phi u minus so it means what it means you are giving the value here in this function mod x you are substituting the value uh, like say for example 4.999 so what will be the mod x here it is the x value tending to x value you are giving 4.99 very close to 5 left of that 5 it means under the mod x x value you are giving it as 4.999 4.99 means my dear students please observe here it is the, the it means the mod x value mod x is positive only because if your x value is greater than or equal to 0 it means x value you are giving 4.999 4.999 means it is greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 means then the mod x value is x itself it means 4.99 only it will remains so therefore mod x i'll write it as simply x see it is 
mod x value is equals to x if your x value is greater than or equals to 0. Now, 4.99 I am giving means this value is greater than 0, greater than or equals to 0. So, therefore, mod x is equals to x and minus 5 is as it is as x tends to 5. Already here it is, uh, I, uh, I wrote the LHL part. So, therefore, 5 minus I won't write here it is simply I will write 5. Now, by using direct method, we can calculate. So, x tends to 5. Put the x in place of x 5. So, what is here it is? 5 minus 5 equals to 0. Clear. So, LHL is equals to minus 1. So, how much it is? 0. Like that, calculate the RHL. So, how to denote the RHL? Limit as x tends to 5 plus what is the function? Mod x minus 5. So, here my distance again 5 plus 5 plus means I will give the value very next to 5 point uh, say for example you can take 5 point 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 you can take. So, if I give uh, x tends to 5 plus exactly 5 I won't give I can give very next to the 5 clear. So, it means 5.0001 you can take. So, here it is mod x it means you are giving 5.001. 5.001 means the x value is greater than or equal to 0 itself. If the x value is greater than or equal to 0 means then the function mod x value is equal to x itself. So, therefore, again here it is this will become limit of here it is mod x you are giving x tends to 5 plus means positive means uh, you are giving the x value as greater than or equal to 0. If x value is greater than or equal to 0 means then the function will be mod x will become x clear according to the definition of the mod x. So, x minus 5 as x tends to 5 clear. Now, again substitute x tends to 5 means direct substitution method 5 minus 5. So, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, here my students you can observe LHL is also 0 the RHL is also 0 it means therefore LHL is equals to the RHL. So, therefore, here it is this implies limit of the function that is mod x minus 5 as x tends to 5 is equals to 0. This is the function value of uh, this is the limit of the limit uh, value of the function limiting value of the function given function understood. So, like this you can calculate my distance, but please make sure that do not get confused that you are giving negative values, you are not giving x tends to 5 minus means you are not giving the negative values, you are giving the values here it is you are giving the values which is lesser than 5 not negative values lesser than x tends to whatever number you have very close to that number values you are giving clear. So, that is the very important thing and remaining is as usual. And please my dear students make sure that you should be updated with all my last videos then only you can understand. Otherwise, what happens here it is. So, otherwise if you do not know the this method direct substitution method if you do not know means you cannot understand. So, please update with all the previous videos. So, still if you have any doubts you can comment me I will reply for that. So, please make Next, we will move to the next method. Yes. Now, the next one is my difference. Limits are involving exponential and logarithmic functions. It means, in the given function, if we have logarithmic, like this, here it is log or something, log 1 plus x, like this, if we have log functions, or if we have this exponential form e to the power x minus 1 divided by x or e to the power x minus 1 divided by x in the given question if the exponential or logarithmic functions is there means in that situations we should check whether we can convert any of these among these three results if we convert means directly we can use this uh, values here this say for example e to the power x minus 1 divided by x limit as x tends to 0 here is limit of e to the power x minus 1 divided by x as x tends to 0. If we have like this function, then the value directly we can write the value of this function is equal to 1. So, derivation is not, uh, not required. Just remember these results. Similarly, this one and similarly this one. So, whenever, uh, please observe here this, whenever in the given question, if we have exponential or logarithmic function means we can use these three results. So, what should the, in the questions directly they won't give the results here, my dear students. You should convert little bit manipulation, you should do so that you should apply these results. Clear. 
So now we will see the some questions here it is. Uh, see here it is. I already wrote the, the question on the board. That is evaluate limit of the function e to the power 3x minus 1 whole divided by x as x tends to 0. So this is the given question. So you can uh, observe the question my dear students. Easily you can directly you can cannot apply this result my dear students. But easily you can convert this result. So okay, in this first one you can convert easily. So how to convert here this? See here this. If I wanted to apply this result means if I wanted to apply this result means what is the result we have? The result is we have limit e to the power x limit of e to the power x minus 1 whole divided by x. It means e to the power whatever value you have the same value should be power x minus 1 whole divided by x. What, what is the consideration you should give? e to the power whatever the value you have the same value should be there in the denominator. Clear. So observe this here it is. What is this? In this case the given question is e to the power 3x is there. In the numerator here it is power. In the power e to the power place you have 3 to the power x. But in the denominator I have only x. It means these two are not equal. So what is our job? My job or I means our job is to convert this x into in terms of this in terms of 3x we should convert. To convert this 3x what I do? So what so here to convert this here it is x is there. So what I will do here it is I will both numerator and denominator I multiply with 3. Then we will get in the denominator 3x. I will multiply and divide with 3. So therefore limit e to the power 3x minus 1 into 3 whole divided by 3. So this 3, this 3 cancels again you will get the same function. So please remember in the mathematics whatever if I wanted to divide and multiply here it is any number if I wanted to write means in the denominator means what should I do? I should multiply and divide the with the same number. So that we should get the previous term as 3, 3 cancels and get the same function. If I multiply and divide with the same means there is no any harm to the given function. The value is the given function. Is it clear? So therefore I will multiply 3 I will divide with 3. Why I am multiplying 3 only? I am multiplying the number 3 only because to make the power e to the power whatever value we have the same value I should get in the denominator. So when I will get that denominator same denominator here already x is there to this x if I multiply with the number 3 means then obviously this value and this value becomes equal clear. So therefore I am multiplying the and dividing with the this value is uh, here it is equals to I should write here this x tends to 0. So you can observe my dear students here it is we have this value am I clear? So this value limit as x tends to 0 e to the power x minus 1 divided by x. They are both e to the power value and you know the same like that e to the power 3x minus 1 divided by 3x. So according to this result by applying this result I can write this value is equals to 1 into 3 as it is. So therefore 3 into 1 is equal to 3. This is what the answer for this one. Clear. So like this you can solve my dear students. So everything is depends upon the given question. If in the given question, if in the given question exponential form or variable function is there means try to convert the given question in terms of these three results and then apply these three results. I uh, clear. Or else, if the given question contains like trigonometric functions, like uh, somewhere uh, after manipulating, getting, if you are getting sin x by x or tan x by x, like that terms you are getting means use the results, whatever I discussed. Or else, if directly if you are substituting value, if you are directly substituting the value, if you are getting some value means that is also the limiting value only. That we can call it as a direct substitution method. Is it? Or else, if you by substituting x tends to value in the given function, if you are getting the indeterminate form means you should just go for the other whatever results in the previous class I discussed. By using that one, you can calculate. Clear additions. So this is all about some basic brief introduction of the limits. So actually our topics starts with the derivatives. But to use the derivative, this is the basic. Clear. So this is all about limits my additions. So please practice based on these type of questions. 
when we will in the next video i am going to start the derivative clear so doubts comment me for that you understood so please copy this one we will discuss in the next class derivatives clear thank you